Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas, some mead and black paint. But I'm going to start with a thin layer and I might add some more. I just want some coverage and mead, for me, if I choose the right thickness, and I'm a little conscientious about how I spread it, covers for me really, really well. I want to make a simple swipe, but I want to use my new Prism Pour Colors from Color Art that I have added 50% Floetrol and then on top of that Floetrol, 50% paint, 50% Floetrol, then I add another 20% <coughs> excuse me, GAC 800 from Golden. I'm also going to do something completely out of character. When I used to do wet swipes. I did them with a cotton t-shirt and I have a nice little tray that perfectly fits some paper towels. So I am going to try the paper towels. That looks like a nice perfectly heavy layer to me and I'm going to probably put a little bit of black right on my bottom. I'm going to offset it I'm going to use some Egyptian coin, which is a prism pour. I don't know if they still make it or not. I think I shook it. Yeah. No, I think I didn't. I thought I did. I thought I just finished using some. I want to use some of this pink diamond, but I have a little bit of um, magenta from Golden that only has some GAC 800 in it, but it was also, it started as a liquid. Um, a fluid acrylic anyway. This is, did I not put the name on? Mm, I know what it is. It is not Neptune's gaze. <laughs> it's the other green color. That was very adept of me. I'm not even sure I was absolutely planning on using that until this moment. There's some more that's Decord Americana 24 karat gold. And I want them to be all the way across when I start. Even if I need to let some of it go over the edge. Then I will use my magenta. I have never used just straight magenta that only had GAC 800 in it. It has no flow troll at all and that marble just keeps getting caught in the tip so I can't get it out. That's very distressing! Maybe it's a plug. There we go. If I suck it in I can suck it up. That's a lot of color. I think I'm going to use some white cell activator from Amsterdam. This is the pink diamond prism pour. And if I only have this go wonder, I really want some of that purple. No, I'm going to be good. Okay. So here's my Amsterdam white. which is strangely thick, even though I follow the regular recipe, which I think should be three parts, three parts um, Australian flow troll to one part paint. Well, I'm just going to take what I get. That's pretty cool. That'll work. I definitely need a shorter piece of paper towel and I think I'm going to try and use the same one. Cool. I don't even mind the green in there. I really, really kind of want to tip this. I 
kind of want to put some black in there too. I have regular black. If I don't like it, I can definitely go back in and swipe. I don't want to change the bottom much, but I do want to pull those colors over, even if it's with my thumb. So that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to blow out the black. Let's see how I like that. I'm contemplating pulling the gold or everything up there and I've got a little rake tool. I wonder why I got so much over there. I like blowing up those cells in the center. I see something that does not belong. It's probably just a bubble. I think it was only a bubble actually. I think it might be time to use a skewer. Make some neat little designs. Oh, I've got some. I kind of like the white. I could use a basting brush up there. That might be really neat. But I also like the odd, they remind me of black work, tattoo, tattoo black work. And I'm probably just going to keep right on doing that, actually. But it might take me longer than I have to work with you. So I will tell you, if you guys would like to help me out, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for your wonderful, kind words. Your comments keep my morale boosted really well. I so appreciate you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. And this is kind of fun. It's not typical of me, but I will be using the wet paper towel again. I did use it a long time ago, but I haven't done it for an eon. That would be years, a couple few years and Priscilla years. I'm liking the spirals everywhere they go and I don't mind the paint being dragged. That line is not good until I go ahead and spiral something out. I like the white in there a lot. I wish I could have gotten more in there. But I like the organic quality of it too. I totally want some more pink right there. For some reason, I feel like that's going to level it out. I like experimenting. You know I do. And when I do, I almost always discover something interesting. Put a little more over there. A little more over here.
Probably don't need it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to put a little bit more black in the spots where I can see some canvas peeking through on the edge. I'm wondering if there's a color I'm being called orange, but I should avoid it. Um, that would go up here in the top. But I really think adding the dots will probably do whatever I need to be done as far as adding another layer. I don't mind that I filled in those edges. I think it worked. I could take a little dish instead of dipping into the paint. But as long as there's a puddle there, it calls me. It's like, use me, use me. I want to grab my little dish now. Some of that white. Because it'll be so much easier. Well, maybe not easier, but definitely faster. And less haphazard. Which is maybe a good and maybe not a good thing. It's different, but it's cool. I want to do it with blue. My Venetian blue is calling me. I should figure out what color that was. I can tell you that color was Royal Sapphire. Because I used the bottle for something else. Yeah, I like that. Filling in down there, that sort of completes the, the eye. I'm sure I've lost almost everyone by now. I think I want a little bit more. Of that sapphire. I'm not going to, I'm going to try and keep myself from over processing, but that's a really tall tail and not necessarily something I'm capable of. Now I've got colors in there. Never mind. I think gold would have been just as good, if not better. It's been a day when I needed art therapy. I'm going to torch to release any bubbles that might be in the paint. I'm going to zoom in as close as I can to some of the good stuff and call it good for now. I may work on, I may add a few more dots, less polluted ones. more complete, less polluted ones. I like organic unless it looks messy. I know that might be confusing considering some of the abstract expressionist pieces I've done. I've had some people lately that were very unhappy with what they saw. But most of you were extremely kind and I so appreciate that. All right, I don't know what I've forgotten. My link tree is below the video. If you check it out, you'll find my Amazon link. On my Amazon link, if you go shopping, you'll find my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities. 
Look at those cute little cells. Nice ribbons. Well, curtain. I'll call that a curtain. Little dots. It's the first time I've done anything quite like this. And like I said, the first time for a long time I used a wet paper towel. So, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for sharing them. Thank you for watching them longer. Thank you for using my email address to contact me. And if you want to contact me regarding purchase of an artwork, please feel free to inquire. Also, I give lessons, uh, private one-on-one -on -one lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And I'm just about ready to do so, which is awesome. Feeling just really good. Uh, my Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links are all in the link tree along with... Um, the Gallerist, clothing from Montreal. Underneath the video is clothing from Spring. On Pinterest, excuse me, on FineArtAmericaAndPixels.com is clothing from Pinterest and, excuse me, I did it again. FineArtAmericaAndPixels.com and anything that you would like to see added to Spring or Pixels.com, FineArtAmerica, let me know. I can, I can add that and uh, that includes reproductions. I, uh, I was going to say my two books are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. I can't remember if I said the titles or not. Thank you all for the wonderful comments and the donations that help keep me painting are donated through PayPal. The channel icon, excuse me, the icon is on the bottom of my channel banner. On the bottom right hand corner it's PayPal. Yeah, I'm twisted. <laughs> There's a link also on the link tree. If you use it, you will be uh, eligible and instantly included or automatically included, I should say, because PayPal sends me an email um, in the monthly drawing. And you can see the prizes at the beginning of the exhib exhibition video I include in the end screens of every video. So, I love you guys. If you have questions, please ask. If you're looking for tomorrow's video, it's usually on the community board or one of my Facebook groups. My Facebook group, Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, is for students. Uh, what else was I going to tell you? There was something important. Oh, I have 2,200 videos. And if you need one, let me know. If you need a playlist, go to my channel and playlists, all playlists, created playlists. And uh, if you can't find what you're looking for, just ask me because I have everything organized by topic and genre and I'm happy to share. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Vatzel in Spring Hill, Florida. Anon. I'll see you anon. Like maybe seven days a week or maybe three days a week. Who knows? It's about to change. I love you. You inspire me. Bye.